Good morning, Forby. Good morning, Mr. Lovely to see you all. Could you do me a favour and open your books, please, on today's work where you will find a sticker that comes up with this question on the board. OK. And what we're going to do today is see whether we can answer that question and have a bit of a debate with one another to see whether we agree with that statement. Does that sound like a good idea? Yes. Perfect. Now, yesterday, it was incredibly hot, wasn't it? Incredibly hot. And how many bottles of water did Forby get through, I wonder, all together? How many, I re reckon, all together? Okay, because Stanley at least managed four. Okay. <laughs> he was incredibly hydrated. But the question that we're going to debate together, and you're going to have a bit of go at doing this with the person next to you as well, so there's going to be a chance to talk with each other, not just listen to me for this. But the question is, the only drink that we should ever have is water. Okay? And I'm immediately seeing people looking at their neighbour and going, Hoo. Okay. Now, it's, I'll just say it again. The only drink that we should ever have is water. And then there's this word, debate. Okay? Which means that we've got to try and understand the reasons for and the reason against. Okay, so there's a balanced argument here. Okay, so we're just going to have a vote to start with, and then we're going to see how that vote changes. So what I'd like you to do is put everything down, okay? And I'd like you just to stand up if you agree with that statement on the board. Stand up if you agree with that statement on the board. If you think the only thing that we should ever drink is water. Okay. So we've got one, two. Is that a yes or a no, me? Is that I'm sitting on the fence, I'm not sure moment? Okay. So we've got four. Okay. Well, let, let's think about it. Okay. So would, would I be right in saying that the rest of us are pretty confident that that's not the only drink we should have? Pretty confident with that? Okay. So, let's have, a bit of a let's have a bit of a brainstorm for a moment, okay? I'm going to give you just a minute or two, and you're going to have to do this really sensibly, because we don't want a huge amount of noise from everybody here, okay? With the person next to you, I want you to come up with one reason between e well, for each of you, okay, that either is a for that argument, so you agree with it, or you are against it. If you're both for it and you both think it's true, then you, you, you're more confident, aren't you? However, see whether you can come up with a different reason for your answer. So to give you an example, if I was working with Isabella, okay, and Isabella, I said to you, Isabella, I think that water is the most important because over 70% of your body is water. Okay, so I think it's the most important drink. But Isabella might say, well, actually, Mr. Manley, is there a different drink that you would prefer? Uh, well, it's good to have water, but you don't want to have water all the time because you might get a different Good point. Because it's quite flavourless, isn't it? Oh, it's quite flavourless. But is it always? Is it always, though? Okay, okay. Can you see? Okay, we've got, we've got, because we've got within that, we can do different things to water, can't we, to make it taste, taste better and make it better for us. So I'm going to give you, here we go. If you want to write your little idea underneath the sticker, just so you don't forget it, that's fine. I'm going to come over here and listen to this side, and then in a moment I'll get my ears over on that side so I can hear what you've got to say. Okay, we good to give it a go? Go on, guys, give it a go. Go on. Yes? So you can change the content of there. And what, what, what do you think, Alexi? Do you think you can... Okay. If you, if you have a yeah. Okay. Okay. What do we reckon here, guys? What do we go for? Okay. Yep. Okay. No, that's a really good point you make. Pop it down, because we can ask in a minute you to share that with. With, okay, some, uh, even just from talking to two pairs there, some really fascinating ideas. So, just, we're just actually coming over to this side of the room deliberately first, what did we think? 
what did we think and why? I mean, what, what would we agree with? Evan, do you want to kick things off? What would you, what would you say? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's let's put. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's just do. I know it's not a very straight table at the moment, but let's just do a little tick on the left and a little cross on the right. So you're saying that first of all, just re just remind me what was that argument again, lovely? It was, the first thing was that it gets a bit flavourless. Did you say or? It's what, sorry, it's... Okay. So it's... So we've got good for you here. Okay, but then we've got over on the right. Okay, and we've got flavourless. Right, so we've, got, we've balanced it out at the moment, which is really good. Okay. Patrick, what did you and Ava share? I'm, I'm a little bit in between, but I do have an explanation for it. Okay. Um, water is healthy for you, but it doesn't give me enough vitamin C and vitamin more energy, but there's such a thing called energy drinks. I know I can't it's drink it now, but adults can. It's called Red Bull. I've heard of it before. Adults can drink it. There's a lot, yeah. Monster, Pepsi, and Coca-Cola. They're all energy drinks, but they're not healthy. Okay, let's let's put then, taking what you've said there, let's go with, lim I'm going to put this one here. It's going to give you limited energy from just water. Yeah. Okay, it's going to hydrate you. It's going to hydrate you. Okay, but you might therefore need something, and Sophie and I were having a chat, weren't we, about this, Sophie? What do you think those energy drinks are going to have more of in them that's going to power you through your sports session? What's the magic? In well, there's, there's lots, but let's just do hands, Oliver, with this one, because it's a special type as well that I'm, I'm interested in, if you can get that one. Amma. Well done. Absolutely. Yeah, fructose, glucose. Okay, they are sugars. Well done, Amma. Okay, so other energy-based drinks have those added sugars, okay, and they are a bit like, you know, when you recharge a battery or you replace a battery in an alarm clock that's broken or your watch battery. Having one of those is a bit like a restart, okay, but there is a downside to this. If you have a drink that's got lots and lots of sugars in it, what happens to you after a very, or after about half an hour or so? How do you then feel after that half an hour session? What, what's, what's the impact? Freddie? Um, this mainly happens on babies, but they get, um, or their energy just goes down, so they've got a lot of energy and then it just drops, and then they okay. Well, well explained, you're absolutely right, Freddie. You can actually end up with something called a sugar crash. Actually, I should probably put this over on this side, shouldn't I? Let's just pop that there for a minute. And that's something you have to be really aware of, because if you do have an energy drink, it will fire you up for your first activity. But if you drink it all at once, within half an hour, you'll end up going Oof, and being, becoming really lethargic and losing all of your energy. So, Martha. doesn't have any sugar in it, actually. Yes, okay. But then my brother Noah, he, he likes apple juice, but then he's only allowed it at dinner time because it has sugar in it. That's a really good point. How many of you are orange juice, apple juice fans here? And I mean fr sort of fresh orange juice, apple juice. Okay, all right. Martha, you raise a really, really good point there. Uh, drinks like apple juice and orange juice are healthy because they are one of your fire of the day, but they have added sweetness to them, okay? And, some, and obviously natural, natural sweetness, because obviously orange is naturally a sweet fruit, okay? As is obviously, our, as are apples. So you've got natural sweetness, but sometimes extra things are put into the juices to make them last longer and stay fresher. So you have to be really careful about this in particular. But the beautiful thing with water is you don't get any of that, unless you buy a certain type of water unless you buy a certain type of water and you look very carefully for these in the shops because you will find them. Daywick, do you know what I'm talking? You know what, it's a really good answer. Okay, it's a really good answer and it's not wrong. Sparkling water is, yes, it's got things added to it. Do you know what's been added to it? 
Do you know what gas has been added to it to make it that, that fizziness? Okay, this is what Mrs. Thomas opened this morning. Um, Evie. <laughs> you know what, I'll accept because it is an example of a greenhouse gas. Good answer. It's carbon dioxide. Yes. Okay, you add carbon dioxide to drinks like that and it, as you, that's why you get the fizz when you open it up. And you're so right, it's a greenhouse gas. It's a greenhouse gas. There's another type of water, though, that you can buy if you go into Linsall's, if you go to Tesco. They have different brands, but what might I be referring to? What do you reckon, Freddie? Like the lemon water. Yes. And like strawberry. Good man. Uh, I'm just going to pop that one down, Freddie. I'm going to put it down as... Let's put it over here. So Because it was kind of... I'm going to put things like Volvic, and it's called Touch of Fruit. Don't know if any of you have heard of that. Now, there's also a very, very big dilemma when you buy things that are in these sort of bottles. So when you buy bottled drinks that aren't water, what, ooh, what's the other dilemma that you've got with that? What's the other dilemma, do you reckon? So if I've, and you're really good at this because only a very few of you have got them in here, but what's the dilemma with the more bottle, bottled juices, bottled water you buy? What have you got to do with that bottle at the end? What do you reckon? What do you reckon the, the issue could be? Harry? Um, put it in the bin, but not, lots of people don't. Lots of people don't. Do you think that's because they're lazy, or do you think it's because they don't know whether it's a certain type of material? What types of material might I be talking about here? Because some of the times you can do it with these things, but it depends. Sophie? Plastic. Plastic. And sometimes, with some plastic papers and films and bottles, only certain parts are re... what's the word? Re... Recyclable. Recyclable, reusable, okay? And actually, some, some supermarkets are really good now because they say if you take your plastic bottles back when you go and do your next shop, you put them in a machine, and the machine then gives you a token that you can then spend in the supermarket. So you, you're doing your bit for the environment, but you're also saving you money, which is quite a nice thing. It's quite nice, isn't it? It's quite reasonable. <laughs> did you get anything back? Yeah, I got enough money to buy a book I was wanting to buy. Brilliant. So you saved yourself a bit of money and you saved the planet a little bit too. Okay. So let's just come back to this. Does anybody from this side of the room, you're doing really well, guys. There's some fantastic comments here. Anybody want to balance it out a bit or have a, add something different to the art? Tiffany? In a very, very extreme situation, I think the key thing is, is balancing what you need and not going excessive, okay? So as I, as I said at the beginning, your body's 70% water, so at any time in your body, you've got to make sure that you've got enough water to sustain you, okay? So providing you don't go into the extreme and just spend your day next to the kitchen sink, <laughs> it's quite, you know, it's a really healthy drink to have. Oliver? Now, that's an interesting point, okay, because you can get, yes, because it depends what else is in the drink at the same time, doesn't it? Because obviously that's depending on how much sugar there is and whether there's too much or too little, yeah. okay? And also for water, if you have clean water, that's then fine, but then if you have sea salty water, Ooh, good, um, yeah. uh, um, scientists say it's healthy to have no water at all, then drink sea water. Now, there's a... Good point. What does lots of salt do to your throat? That's a really good point. And this, this is one of the reasons why scientists are advised when you go swimming in the sea that you don't drink the sea at the same time, but we hadn't drunk enough during the day anyway. But with salty water, what do we rely on in our mouths that we talked about the other day that helps keep our throats nice and, you know, nice and prepared to digest food? I don't want to give it away, so I'm just trying to word it, but... What's that type? What's produced in the mouth that we definitely need? Sophie, do you know? Saliva. Excellent. And we need that saliva because without it, we cannot swallow the food we eat. Can we remember that little flap of skin that stops the food going down the windpipe? Can you remember what it's called? We did say it the other day. It's a big word. Evan? Uh, epiglottis. 
Well done. Should we give Evan a round of applause for that? Well, well done. Well done. Okay. It's really good, Evan, because that's a hard word to say. <laughs> well done. Jensen, what would you like to add? Um, that you, you, are, um, you need milk to make your bones stronger. Brilliant. So you've just added another dimension there to this argument. We need milk. And I think, Alexi, we and you had a little bit of a chat about that, didn't we, as well? So water clearly is great, but we definitely need other things. So at the moment, milk is really, really crucial for you guys, especially because you're growing. OK, so that calcium that's in your milk is really important for your bones. So whether you drink milk directly or whether you have it on cereal or in a cup of tea or, they, or hot chocolate, you need that milk because it's strengthening your bones. It's giving them power and supporting your skeleton. Let's just take a last point from Frank and then we're going to just round this up. Go on, Frank. If you have, um, if you have too much fizzy drinks in one go, you won't. Just have a stitch. You will have a stitch. And do you know what a stitch it, well, do you know what a stitch is itself itself? Do you know where you feel it or what you know why or do we know Amar, do you? Do you feel it near your waist and in your stomach? Yes, you do. So you feel it, you feel it in your abdomen, okay, and also yes, absolutely, down towards your lower waist. And particularly as well, if you're just running after you've had a big meal, or if you're exercising and you've you keep stopping when you're exercising or you haven't warmed up, it's kind of like a big muscle strain that you get because your muscles aren't really warmed up enough for energy. So that's why before you do PE or sports you, or swimming, you always you know, do some arm stretches, um, you, know, you stretch your body out so that you're able to prepare yourself for the exercise. It's a bit like a mini pre-workout in itself. Okay? And when you're a bit older and you start to go to the gym or you, you do a little bit more sports for yourself, not just in school, you'll notice just how important that is, okay? Let's just round it up for a moment because we've had a really epic discussion there. Can you just take, guys, one minute to write down something about what we have just discussed, a sentence, a fact, a, a title, one of these, something that you have just remembered from that argument on that debate about what we have talked about with whether water is our only drink we should have. So just write it, just quietly, I'm just going to give you a moment now, independent thinking time, just to quietly write that down. Okay, have we all got an A-star answer, do you reckon, to that debate now? I reckon everybody's answer is very different as well. So would anybody like to read out what their sentence is, just so that we can get an idea of what the end of this discussion has. Okay, so Stanley, is that a hand? That is, isn't it? Go on, Stanley. Tell, tell me what your one line answer is or your response to that debate. Yes, because water can be turned into many liquids. And what's wrong with water? <laughs> okay, thank you very much. We have a mini round of applause for Stanley on that one. Really, really good. Thank you, Stanley. Anything different? Jensen. Okay, so it's balancing it out. Yeah. Good point, lovely. Balancing it out so it's at the right sort of level itself. Ethan? There are way more drinks. I mean, like, water's not the only drink in the world. You can get more, and you can also get bored of water. Okay, so it's about variety as well. So trying something new, trying something different. How many of you like a cup of tea? Cup of tea? Cup of tea? Yeah, really, really important that. Really, really important. And do you want to know what sign language is for tea? Okay, so I would like, okay, a cup of tea. Okay, a bit like the Queen waving her hand there, okay. I would like, okay, a cup of tea. And then please. There you are. Okay, you can all try that one this evening. Hot chocolate, something different, but Patrick. Um, I didn't write yes or no because I, I'm, I'm still stuck in the middle. <laughs> but I wrote what I said before. Water is low in sugars. It has a downside and a good side. Good man. So I, I yep. recommend drinking water if you want to. For me, it's just what you want to drink. For me, it's just what you want to drink. It doesn't matter. You'll, you'll, find, you'll eventually find a way or you'll deal with it if, you make, <laughs> if something wrong happens to your teeth or bone structure. Honestly, I don't like milk though. This fact, I, I'm not. Does anybody drink milk on its own? Because I'm not a massive fan. Okay, I have to have it with something. You know, it's, it's a bit milk on cereal is fine. 
but having it having it on its own is a bit I don't know it's a bit of a heavy drink to okay right four B really really well done for all of your hard work today we had some fantastic ideas for our debate and I'm really impressed with the written work that you've done on the digestive system what I'd like you to do now please is I'd like you to close your books quietly and just pop your pen in the pencil case just do that quietly thank you very much <laughs>